So today we're going to re start by reviewing the insertion and deletion pro procedures for a heap. So let me start by drawing a simple heap here. Okay, uh, Mr. Basu, sir, is it a heap? Okay, it's a heap. And um, oh, what kind of heap is it, sir? No, sir, it's a max heap. You can see that the biggest numbers are on the top, so it's a max heap. And now we want to insert. We want to practice inserting now. So to insert an element, where is the only place I'm allowed to insert on this heap here? Mr. Ben, where, where is that? To the right of the node that's five. Okay, so this is the next available slot. So let's say I insert the number uh, eight here. So I'm going to insert eight. So I go like that. Uh, uh, am I done now? No. So what do I have to do? You discuss with your partner what has to happen in this scenario now to, to fix this situation. Okay, so um, let's see here. Mr. F, sorry, sir, can you describe to me what must I do to correct this heap so that it has all the heap properties again? So should I put the 8 up here and the 7 down here then? No. Yes, sir. Uh, do, you, do you remember what it is that we need to do? Okay, we're going to bubble this 8 upward now. So what's the first thing we're going to swap it with? Five. Okay, we're going to swap it with the 5. So we'll put the 8 here and put the 5 here. And then what do we do, sir? Okay, then we're going to swap the 8 and the 7. So we're going to go 8 here and then we're going to go 7 there. So when we insert, we insert in the next available slot and then we bubble the number upward. We're all good there, right? Okay. So now let's look at a different situation where we're going to delete. And this is the same heap that we started with before. And we said that the heap is really built so that one particular node can easily be deleted. What node is that, Mr. Frenovic? The last one. So I don't know what that means. This one? Okay, that's true, but when we delete, it's usually not this one. Yes, sir? The root node. The root node, because we're often using this as a priority queue, so when we pull the queue, we're going to pull out the biggest number in a max heap or the smallest number in a min heap. So we want to be able to delete the root node. So the problem here is that if I just delete the root node by getting rid of it, you see I have these two subheaps, and they're kind of floating in space, and so... I can't do that. Mr. Franovic previously mentioned that it would be really easy to delete the 4, because you can see we can delete the 4 and it still leaves a heap behind. So what are we going to do to help facilitate the deleting of the root node? Miss Mila. Uh, swap seven. Okay, so we're going to swap the 7 and the 4. So we put the 4 here, we put the 7 here. Now we can just delete the 7, right, because it's in the right position for deletion. But now we have a different problem because the 4 will not be the right number to be in the root. So now, instead of bubbling up, what do we need to do here? So Olivia, I, I swapped the 7 and the 4. I deleted the 7, which was my goal. But now the 4 is out of position. So what do I need to do to restore the heap properties? I need to bubble it downward. That's right. So now my question is, can I arbitrarily decide which of these pads I can swap it with? Or is there a specific rule I need to follow? Ms. Teleska. OK, since this is a max heap, I have to pick the bigger one. So, so which one should I swap it with? OK, so I'm going to swap it with the 6. So I'm going to put the 6 here and the 4 here. And now, in terms of my bubbling down process, am I finished? Mr. Nikita? Yeah. I am, because you can see the 4 is bigger than the 2 or the 3. So this is basically just a quick review for you about how to insert and delete from a heap.